Hey, what is up, everybody? I am super pleased to announce that there is a brand new version of Gold Hen that is out right now, and that is 2.4 B18.3. Now, this was released over on the official site here of Sistro and their Ko-Fi page. And if you want to give this a shot, then you can just basically pay zero dollars or more and hit get now and you can download that binary. Now, there is a few things that was added in here that is going to be interesting to talk about here. We can see that for 2.4b18.3, the very first feature was added auto apply cheats on game start. This was something that was kind of annoying. Basically, if you loaded a game and you maybe turned on five or six different cheats, and then you close that game, you have to go back and turn those on again. Now it's going to save that. And then finally, we got support for PS4 9.03. So all of those of you who have been holding out on updating, you can now start enjoying the gold hen for your 9.03 systems. And then finally, there was an improved clog server. And again, this is for more diagnosis information. It isn't something that will necessarily be helpful for the end user, but something that definitely a developer might like. Now, it does state in here with this asterisk, which led to this point right here being, if you are a cheat lover, enjoy a more seamless experience with this new feature that automatically loads and activates your previously chosen cheats when you launch the game. Now, there is a to-do list here, and that is adding support for 7.02, 7.55, and apparently there are a few others, and there are a bunch of other amazing features that they plan to add in on that. So I would highly suggest, if possible, to... Donate to Sistro if you are able to. And then the finally, the last thing that I will leave a quick link to is, is that if you're wondering which games are supported with this, you can obviously take a look over here at the Gold Hen Cheat Repository. And what I typically do is I maybe go into this file right here and I'll do a control F and I will search for whatever title that I'm looking for. So Right here, I'm looking for Elden Ring, and I can see that it is going to be included in the cheat repository. And I'm going to show you in just a second how you can always get the latest version of this. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation 4. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get jailbroken over here on my machine. Now, I am using an ESP8266 device. And what I have done is I've just went ahead and loaded that very latest gold hen that was released today by Sistro, and you can obviously do the same. Now, if you do want to use an ESP device, I have a number of videos on those that I will link down below. And if you also just want to run this, by now, probably a lot of the normal PS4 exploit host servers are loaded with this brand new file as well. So right there, we can see Gold Hen 2.4b has been loaded. And let's just go ahead and go back. And we should see Gold Hen right up here in the top. So let's go into the Gold Hen option here. And we're going to scroll down to begin with. And we're going to go to About. And we're going to scroll down. And there wasn't anything added in the change log here. So that is still the same change log as before. So we're going to go straight up and go to where it says cheats setting. And there is a brand new option right here called enable auto apply on game start. Now it does state here that you cannot change this value if the game is running. So we are absolutely going to turn that feature on. So what we're going to do is we are going to select the X option on this to update the cheat archive. And then we're going to press X on the cheat source to make sure that's set for net. And then the cheat selection, we'll just leave that on installed games. And so we'll do an X on that. 
Okay, so as you can see right there, it is now updating the cheats. And it does say that the cheats have now been updated. Now, one more quick tip for you before we leave this section is, is that it might be best to go ahead and change this to all cheats. And the reason for that being is, is that if you have went ahead and installed a game, you would need to come back and manually run this update cheat archive unless you come back down here and you just start going ahead and downloading all the cheats. Now, they're not that much space, so I would probably recommend just going ahead and changing that to all cheats and then just going ahead and running another update again. And as you can see, I've already got everything that I need on my system. Okay, and so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run Elden Ring. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a couple of different cheats onto the game. And then we are going to see if those cheats stick once we exit out of the game and then load back into it. So let me go ahead and get us to where we're in the game. Okay, so here we are. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on a god mode here in just a second obviously we're about to run up against the very first boss of this game which you are pretty much designed to lose that battle so we're just going to go back over to our home menu and we're going to go to the gold hen cheat menu here and there is a bunch of different options that we can turn in here we have read the trainer information and we're going to turn on the master code and we are going to turn on the infinite health option as well as the one hit kill. Okay, let's head back into the Elden Ring game here and let's get ready for our very first battle. Okay, and so we should be invincible here as well as we should be able to kill this with just a hit. So as you can see there, we definitely are invincible as there was no damage that has been happening on that. And let's go ahead and see if we can land at least one strike. There we go. One strike. Okay. So there we go. We finally beat Elden Ring's first boss with just one hit. So we are going to accept all of those amazing awards there. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and we will close out of the game here. And I'm going to select OK on that one. And now let's just go ahead and launch the game again. And this time we should automatically have all of those cheat codes added to our system. So let's see if that works. And just ignore the remote pad up there. That is something else that I was trying. Okay, there you go. You can see the codes are now being added automatically. So that is going to save a ton of time. You will not have to go in there and reconfigure that after every single game. And that is so very cool. So let me just go ahead and double check it by getting into the game. Okay, so back in the game, it does look like that is taking. I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the cheats menu. And there they are. They are still turned on by default. So very cool stuff.